It is curtains up for former Congressman Brian Higgins kicking off his first week as the new president and CEO of Shays Performing Arts Center. Higgins ending his 19 years on Capitol Hill Friday. Now he says he is focused on making Shays a premier entertainment destination in our region. Seven News senior reporter Eileen Buckley tells us he has several ideas that he plans to pursue to strengthen the historic theater. And we want to make Shays uh, more accessible to more people. Former Congressman Higgins is on a new career path as president and CEO of Shays Buffalo, leaving behind political theater to now grow this iconic theater he calls magical. It's ornate uh, nature, uh, aesthetic beauty, um, is a basis from which to get people more invested emotionally and financially uh, in this this extraordinary offering. And Higgins says the best way to begin growing Shea's reach is to tap into the Ontario market where 40% of the entire Canadian population lives. We will uh, aggressively uh, pursue a plan uh, to cultivate new patrons uh, to the arts uh, in Buffalo uh, from the province of Ontario. But Higgins is not just in charge of Shays. He's also now leading Shays 710 Theatre and Shays Smith Theatre. And they're not uh, occupied every single night. And we're going to take a, you know, a, a aggressive look at uh, trying to offer more things uh, to more people that want to enjoy uh, this extraordinary collection. And while the Broadway series is very popular here at Shays, Higgins says he wants to make other enhancements to improve the theater. There are a number of opportunities here in the theater district uh, to inject new viability, uh, excitement into the theater district. Higgins says he wants to create new partnerships with local organizations like the Michigan Street African American Heritage Corridor. I asked Higgins what's missing in the theater district. A sense of a seven day a week, 24 hour a day attraction. Higgins takes over Shays following last year's resignation of former Shays president Michael Murphy, who was accused of creating a toxic work environment. It's not going to happen again. Uh, we will respect everybody. We will uh, recognize the great service that they provide to this great institution. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Buffalo.